At some point in your ePortfolio, you may want to create a link to another page on your website, a file that you have uploaded to the website, another page on the internet, or perhaps you want to create a link so that someone can easily email you or another address. And adding all of these links is quite simple and actually uses the same easy tool in Weebly. You can create these links uh, either through text or by adding a button or an image. All you need to do is pull in the element that you want and then look for the link feature. It's just uh, two chains with a link in between them. Once you click that, you'll have the option. You can either enter a new website URL and choose whether you want to open that link in a new window. You can choose a pre-existing page on your website. You can choose a file that you've already uploaded or a new file or also just an email address. You can save it or if you've accidentally added the link, you can always remove it. You can do the same thing with text. But what you want to do is highlight the text that you want to turn into that link and then look up at the top in the navigation bar, create the link, and then you get that same setup with the four different options. Now the question might be, why would I want to create links when everything seems to be easily inputted into the navigation bar, either along the top or along the side of my web page. And I want to show you what happens when you do list a lot of text on a page and you scroll down to the bottom. Once you're here, finished reading the piece, you're a little bit further away from the navigation. And so as a viewer, you would have to scroll back to the top to click on to the next page. If, however, at this point, you pull down a button and you turn that into a link, say, to a different page on the website. Make sure that you click the radio button to pull it down. I know that sometimes people have done that and forgotten. Then what you do when you publish it, let's just take a look at how this site feels. When you're on this page, you read all the way to the bottom and you say, you know what, I want to go on to that next page. You can just very easily click the button and then it moves you to the next page. It's a little bit of consideration uh, that's taken when you do this into the readability of the document. It's easier for someone to click a button that's at the bottom in the screen that they're viewing than it is for them to go back to the top and figure out what's next. So if you want to guide your reader through your website in a very easy to follow layout, you may consider actually going in and adding those small links, whether in button or text form, to allow them to move to the next sample without actually having to go back to the top or go back to the side and remember where they are. It's all about making this the easiest, most seamless piece of writing that, that it can possibly be. It's a small step, but it's a huge benefit to your reader. So definitely take a look at it and think about it while you're finishing your ePortfolio.